Welcome to the Olson video. The current market environment where the dollar has been dropping rapidly over the past few weeks and days is an excellent opportunity to sit back and review your trading strategy and think what can be improved in your trading style. What we're observing today is exactly the situation which I indicated in the second video that when everyone gets it wrong, it's then that the big trends can get started. So now what you see is that a lot of dollar longs sit on losses. And it's especially with the non-professional traders who are not working in banks or hedge funds who are sitting on their losses. How did they get into that? I think the first most important rule is that they were not aware that over a whole year there is such a lot of profit opportunity. There's something like 2,500% coastline, if you get it all right, of profit opportunity. Because that is the case, what can you do? Is you can just wait. And wait for an extreme situation where it's ultra safe to make a trade. And that's the rule number one of a professional trader, that he waits for scenarios which seem to him very safe. The second rule of a professional trader is that he says, look, trading is like driving a car. Don't drive your car at full speed all the time, but actually drive it slowly. And if you're in a dangerous situation, be ready to accelerate. So the same thing in trading language means that you first open a small position. If it goes against you, you accelerate. That is, you increase the size of your position. If it goes even further away, then you kind of increase the position even more. So that's the first rule. But now, how do you do it with regard to your stop losses? The same is you just take a full year horizon and say, look, if things go really bad, what was the maximum that you would want to lose? Say it's 5% or 10% of your portfolio. So 10% is your maximum drawdown. But now what you do is you split that up. You say in the first month, I'm only allowed to lose 50%. So you start to trade, and if you reach your 5%, which is the maximum drawdown, you close out. And how long do you wait to resume trading? You wait until the beginning of the next month. And why do you wait and not immediately re-enter the market? Because one thing which is very important as a trader is, who is right? It's always the market. Don't ever expect that you yourself will be right. So having the opportunity to sit back and just cool down and look at the market in at a distance can be very valuable. In the second month, because you have lost money in the first month, you only have 50% of your original risk budget. That is, as opposed to 5%, you have 2.5%. If you reach your 2.5%, you're out of the market again. The advantage of this is that in this way, you clearly limit the maximum loss, and you will be certain to be in the market for a whole year. But the biggest lesson in trading is be patient. If you yourself from make a small fraction of this 2,500% coastline, then that's great. You'll be a top trader. And thanks, and looking forward to getting a lot of notices that you've made lots of money. Thanks.